all over her body. And she just had got her nails done. And she kept saying, all I can say, when my nail just got me, he didn't care about nothing. And they was going back and forth. He told her if he can't have her, nobody will. And she was talking about her, her nail. And she was done with him. And all oh, this was going on. And when he went down on her to choke her out, I took that cane. They didn't even know I was there. I took that cane and I busted him to the white meat. Now that's why I'm talking about violence ain't good on no level, but I ain't have to, I don't know what else I could have needed to get him off of. So I had sense enough to tell my neighbor to call 911 because 911 ain't gonna be there in two fairs if they call because they got him lit up like a Christian. She always having arguments, always having domestic issues. So they, as soon as I was into the white, they didn't come. And they took her to the emergency room. They arrested him. Oh, I ain't tell you, he took one of them nails that popped off and started scratching so, Talk about, she hit me too. She hit me too. And so they they took her to the to emergency. They took him to jail because she was all messed up. And then they took me to jail for helping, trying to get fucked. So I go to jail. I call her son. I go to jail. I stayed there two days. But I, when I went before that judge, I told him, I said, Your Honor, I was protecting her honor. He beat her right now. He's going off your honor. I don't want no felony. You know, domestic violence is a felony charge. And, and he looked at me. They had the evidence, they had the brocade. And then he just said, okay, I'm going to let you out on your own recordings or something. And I had never been there. I was just okay, okay. And now I'm here. But let me tell y'all something. And this is what you must understand. When you're in a situation like that, I don't care if it's man beating women, women beating men, you need a safe place. You need one place where you can go that the abuser don't know about. You ain't talking on the phone or telling the abuser what they said and how they trying to help you get out the relationship. You gotta have a safe place that you can go where they can't follow you. She went to shelter home. People talk so much, he knew she was dead. That ain't good, so we need a safe place. Okay, y'all? And then, we need not only a safe place, we need, we need, uh, what we need, uh, 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 we need a safe place and we need to talk about it to people. You can't keep it a secret. You can't. And then you got to involve the children. The children is the ones that suffer in the womb. Them children been experience that hush words and vibrations in the womb and they scared to death. That's not good for their future. And I'm going to tell you something else. That I did personally, I have no problem with domestic violence. I love my husband to death. Three of them died, but it was from love. It was loving, loving each other to death. There wasn't no fighting or nothing going on. No. That was real respectful. And they was respectful. We worked together. But the times we living in, they times. So, I want to tell you this. Let me catch myself. We got to put an end to this situation. Not just for the month. We need to be doing stuff all year long. Let Mad Life help you do things all year long to build you up. So you can walk away. She in the ER right now. She ain't walking away. She there healing. And I'm reeling. So it's never too late. It's old people getting beat up too. Then I just thank everybody for letting me see here. Why is your phone going off so much? It's gonna be a phone keep ringing.
It's for me. Huh. Oh. What is for me? Okay. Wait, put that ear thing in here. Hello? Uh-huh. This granny. Child, you kidding? Thank <laughs> you. 